Hey folks, Internet Dude here. Hey, I had a question today and uh, someone was asking about the previous video I had there about the Big Macs and the comment was asking me basically like, do you have a video on how to hook up a smart Wi-Fi thermostat to this unit? And uh, I don't have such a video and I just happened to be down at the shop today and I thought, well, that's something I could probably shoot for you fairly quickly and, and just show you how I did the setup because uh, I did add a Wi-Fi thermostat to my Big Max heater. So uh, what you see here, I have the side cover off as I had before. Um, and if we look down on the wall here, that's the old thermostat. Just a very simple um, lever thermostat. And I replaced it with that Wi-Fi one that you saw. So let's get in here closer and I'll explain things a little better for you. Okay, so with the side cover removed here, you can see the wiring setup. Now, the wiring that was that, that comes in these heater units is simply these two wires. They go in a, a hole in the back here, they come out and they run over to the circuit board. Now, because I was switching from a two-wire setup, I simply pulled those wires back. But if we get in here, let me just move it and uh, we'll see. So basically, uh, I left this connected and this was the wire that runs down to that other thermostat. But I just left it dangling here for now. And that was just in case I had any issues with the Wi-Fi thermostat and I could remove this now, to be honest. Uh, the brown wire you see here going in, that's the new thermostat wire that I ran. And you could buy thermostat wire, just go to a home improvement store. They can help you out with that. So the only one they had was, was I think two wire or which was useless or this five wire. So in this case, I have the five wire, but I just have the orange twisted back out of the way because I don't use that one. So I use four wires to, to run my Wi-Fi uh, smart thermostat. And what you need to know about that is uh, with, with a regular thermostat, you only need two wires. With a smart thermostat, you're going to need to hook up three wires. And you're going to have to use this uh, bottom one. It's marked C, and that's your common wire. So that's the only real difference is you have uh, the R, which is your power, and your W, which is um, call for heat, and then the common, which the common's used to power the thermostat. And then I also have optionally here, because the wire was you know available, I use the blue for uh, G, which is the fan. Now, don't really pay attention to the colors of the wires because you can use whatever colors you want. I imagine if you're in the HVAC, uh, if, if you're an HVAC pro, you probably standardize a bit, maybe. Uh, I'm not an HVAC pro, consult a, consult a pro if you have any additional questions, but I mean, you're welcome to leave a comment below about my install, I may be able, be able to help you a little bit with yours, but. So you're gonna need three wires for sure. Optionally, you can do a four. Now there's only four wires, or should I say four terminals here on this particular, uh, it's like a 45 or a 50,000 BTU heater. And all you simply have to do is loosen the screw, um, put the wire underneath that contact point and snug the screw back down. So I've done that and then I have the corresponding colors on the other end uh, with the thermostat. So I hope it's, it's kind of clear. Uh, the four terminals, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just make sure I explain it uh, before I step down here. But basically the voltage coming down these wires is 24 volts alternating current or AC. So when you power just the heat, the power would be sent to the uh, to the R and the W terminals on here, and that completes the circuit. It tells the relay and the system to turn on. Um, then uh, the blue, well, <clears throat> I don't want to use colors. <laughs> the R and the C, uh, those two terminals together uh, also have 24 volts AC that power the thermostat. And usually those wi smart Wi-Fi thermostats have a little battery built in. So if power is, is lost, sometimes you get a little little extra time on on the screen but and then the of course the extra wire the G 
And when you turn on the fan from the thermostat, it uses the power through the R and the G wires, okay? So you always have the 24 volts AC. You don't have to worry about that. The transformer's built into this system. It's sending the power, but as long as you match up the wire color on this end to the wire at color on the other end, you should be fine. So let's move down and take a look at the uh, thermostat and I'll, I'll pull the cover, the, the, the screen part off and just show you the wire connections behind there also. All right, so as I mentioned before, I have the Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat. It's a smart thermostat, I guess you'd say, because it's programmable, hooks up to Wi-Fi, so I can use the app from my phone and see what the temperature is in the shop at all times, which is a good thing when, you know, you live in this climate, like where I live, you can get to minus 35 Celsius, maybe minus 40 Celsius sometimes. So it's good uh, that I'm not here 24 seven, I can easily check on it. Um, so as you can see here, um, whoop, let me just show you. Now this is not the most professional installation. Typically you're gonna have this probably mounted on a wall somewhere. I have it just spaced out a little bit using wood. Here's the wire, thermostat wire, it runs, it runs back. Pretty straight system, straightforward system. So. I'm just going to take this off. Uh, I, I think it's pretty common that you just pull these off. I'll pull it off from the side here so you can see, but literally I just pull that thing off. Uh, there must not be much of a battery, but uh, you can see in the back there's some uh, connection terminals there that uh, connect up there. So if we take a look, this is it, the area where the actual face of the thermostat connects to to transfer the, uh, the power. Uh, what you really need to be worried about if you're swapping out your uh, regular two-wire thermostat to a smart thermostat is you absolutely need the C-wire, the common wire. Um, so that's critical and that's something I think uh, it might be a common mistake is you just, you buy this thing and you hook it up with your two wires and you're like, wait a minute, it's, you know, it's not working right. So you may need that, uh, the common wire. Well, you will need it, but you, you may or may not have that uh, hooked up, depending on your status when you, when you set it up or get it or buy the place. So here's the R wire, which is the power wire. And um, C is also a power wire, but it's power wire for the thermostat. W, that's your call for heat. Uh, and then G is for the fan. The G wire is completely optional. Um, but the other three aren't for a smart thermostat. If for some reason you're hooking up a smart Wi-Fi thermostat and you have an RC wire as well, you won't with this heater, um, you would hook it up there, but then you'd remove this little short jumper plug. So I'll put this um, thermostat back on. You just have to line it up. Line it up and push it on. Trying to do this with one hand. There we go. There's the startup screen. All right, still booting up. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to show you. It, just the important thing is to match up the colors of the wires. Make sure you have the R and the W and the C. Those are all mandatory when you're hooking up a Wi-Fi thermostat to your Mr. Heater Big Macs heater. Um, maybe I'll just show you real quick in the settings here, but we can control the fan, can follow a schedule, be automatic or always on. System, you can turn the heat on or off and uh, I'm trying to think, I, I think I just turned it off in the summer. I maybe don't even, maybe I don't even touch it, touch it. I can't remember. And then under menu, that's where you um, view your schedule summary, create edit schedule, change your color themes, you can see the weather, holiday mode, I don't know. Hmm, maybe I could use that someday. Uh, preferences, equipment status, clean screen, Wi-Fi setup, system setup. Let's just take a peek at equipment status. Yeah, heat mode, stage on, fan mode. All right, that stuff doesn't really matter. Anyway, there you go. Um, I hope that helps you wire up your thermostat. Uh, 
like I say, I, you know, the, the smart Wi-Fi thermostat's a nice thing to have because I can see the temperature uh, from a remote location. I don't really use it so much to turn it on or off or adjust the temperature much. I, I keep it fairly consistent here in the winter, but uh, it's definitely handy to have it, uh, have access to see that, you know, everything's working okay here. So I hope this video has helped you and uh, if, it, if it has, just leave me a comment below and let me know and give me a thumbs up. Uh, if it hasn't helped you or you have additional questions, by all means leave a comment below and you know maybe I'll be able to help you out. Yeah, thanks for watching.